Rich Pedrincelli, Associated Press Rosa Cabrera, Foreground, joined others in support of a measure to limit police use of deadly force during a hearing of the Senate Public Safety Committee on Tuesday in Sacramento. By Sophia Bollig and Don Thompson, Associated Press Sacramento's California would lead the U.S. in significantly changing the standard for when police can fire their weapons under legislation that cleared its first hurdle Tuesday after an emotionally charged debate over deadly shootings that have roiled the country. It's time to change a reasonable force standard that hasn't been updated in California since 1872, making it the nation's oldest unchanged use of force law, said Assemblywoman Shirley Weber, a San Diego Democrat who introduced the measure. Start your day with the news you need from the Bay Area and beyond. Sign up for our Morning Report weekday newsletter. It must be guided by the goals of safeguarding human life, she said. A state Senate committee advanced the legislation that would allow police to use deadly force only in situations where it is necessary to prevent imminent and serious injury or death to the officer or another person. Now, California's standard makes it rare for officers to be charged after a shooting and rarer still for them to be convicted. Frequently it's because of the doctrine of reasonable fear, if prosecutors or jurors believe that officers have a reason to fear for their safety, police can use deadly force. Law enforcement lobbyists said the stricter standard could make officers hesitant to approach suspects out of fear their actions could be second-guessed. Democrats on the committee acknowledged that officers have difficult and dangerous jobs but argued the bill would make everyone safer by promoting de-escalation and fostering trust between police and people of color. It always blows me away when law enforcement only fear for their life only when they're facing black and brown people, said Democratic Sen. Stephen Bradford of Gardena, who is black. We don't have a problem with law enforcement, we've got a problem with racism. Dozens of advocates lined up to list the names of young men killed by police across California, including Stephon Clark, who was shot this year when Sacramento officers say they mistook his cell phone for a handgun. The shooting sparked protests, and a prosecutor says it may be months before her office decides if police broke the law. It comes as police killings of black men have stirred upheaval nationwide. David Mostagny, a lobbyist for the California Peace Officers Association, said the proposed language creates a hindsight, second-guessing game that puts not only the officers at danger but puts the public at danger as well. Randy Perry, representing several rank-and-file police unions that Encompass 90,000 officers, called it a radical departure from criminal and constitutional law. Critics could almost always argue that deadly force wasn't necessary because officers could have considered alternatives such as tactical repositioning, which Perry called a euphemism for retreat. Republican Sen. Jeff Stone of Temecula, the only senator on the committee who spoke in opposition, said the measure could stop people from becoming police officers and deter officers from responding to calls for help. Democratic Sen. Hannah Beth Jackson of Santa Barbara pointed to troubling statistics about California's high incidence of police shootings and the disproportionate use of force against black men. She and fellow Democrats Scott Wiener of San Francisco said they believe the changes clarify when police can use lethal force and adequately address concerns raised by law enforcement opponents. We all agree that we don't want to put police officers in harm's way, but we also don't want to put the public in harm's way," Jackson said. The measure now heads to another committee. AD Quality Auto 360p 720p 1080p You might also like what is Forex trading. The derivative explained IG Singapore air conditioning now finally affordable thanks to newthingstoday.com car thieves will hate this brilliant device tacky fans reduce Akis.
I've the cheese tarts straits times live like a royal, 16 facts about the royal family family minded, Kim Kardashian shares full frontal nude photos as MercuryNews.com ask Amy, my sister won't apologize for sleeping with MercuryNews.com ask Amy, I'm stunned by my husband's bedroom request MercuryNews.com recommended by